going on guys? So most of you already know that 2017 marks the 50th anniversary of the Chevy Camaro. And I actually got to celebrate that at the Antique Automobile Club of America Museum, also known as the AACA Museum in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I was invited to a preview party for their new exhibits this summer, one of which being the 50th anniversary of the Camaro and also Firebird, as well as their Rare Garage Finds exhibit. And I got to walk around with Nancy, who was the director there. She introduced me to all the different uh, vehicles that they had there, the different exhibits, everything from old motorcycles, a couple vehicles from the 1800s, as well as the new Tucker exhibit they have there as well, which is all, you know, the, the, the brand Tucker, all the cars. They actually have the very first Tucker automobile um, ever produced, which is very cool, and it's in awesome condition. They also do take donations as far as cars go. You know, most of the cars in that place are donated by the owners and you can have your car donated you can have a little um you can write whatever you want basically on explaining the history of the car and then you can have your name in the corner and everything like that so it's pretty cool if you guys have uh vehicles you know that that you want to donate or even if you want to go check out the museum um i'll put all the info in the description for you guys all you do is call up the museum and speak with them and say hey i'd like to have a car i'd like to donate a car so it's a very cool place on all of those exhibits will be running the entire summer they do have new exhibits they they're constantly changing things up which is really cool i also got to see the bus on the movie speed and forrest gump i also got a chance to walk inside the actual forrest gump bus but uh it was a little dark so the footage wasn't that great so thanks again to Nancy and the crew at the Antique Auto Museum for showing me around and giving me a little tour. I actually got to park my two ZL1s out front right under the overhang there for the preview party, so that was awesome. So either way, we are going to do something a little special. Ooh, yeah. Either way, we're going to be doing something a little special with this car today. And um, kind of kind of quirky, actually. And it's really not what you guys are thinking. Everybody thinks it's going to be a performance part a cold air intake no no he's gonna wrap the car no 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 he's gonna do this no it's 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 been ridiculous all the guesses and um none of you are right actually but what i am doing today is i am going to test fit the drag wheels that are on my fifth gen zl1 the race stars that i showed you you guys might have seen that video they have the the black 95 recluse race star wheels with the uh, hoosier slicks and skinnies up front so we're going to see if they fit this car i also want to give a big shout out to robert anderson who sent me these awesome carbon fiber sunglasses and he's actually doing a kickstarter campaign for the sunglasses so um, if I have that info, I'll put it in the description. If not, stay tuned for it, and I'll post it in an upcoming video for you guys. So anyways, I have my wheels back here in the corner stacked, and um, we're basically just going to put on one side, because that's all you really need to see if they fit, and uh, basically what they look like. I'm hoping they're going to fit. I Honestly, the only problems I think I might have is the front wheels because of the ginormous brake calipers in the front. How, the rear wheel should be okay. I've seen a guy fit 17s on a 2017 ZL1 before, and those that's what those are. Those are 17s. But um, those front rotors are huge, so we're about to find out. All right, so I got my jack, my torque wrench, and first we're going to loosen these up. wonder how big the brakes are on the front of a ZL1? Bigger than my head. Look at that caliper. Look at that thing. It's ginormous. Anyways, now for the magic. So we're going to take two of these. That's all we're going to need. Roll this outside. And two. <clears throat> Moment of truth. Nope, fronts don't fit. Brakes are just too big for 17s in the front, at least these 17s specifically. So now you know. I mean, I could have measured, but I still would have had to take the wheel off to measure this. So yeah, oh well, doesn't fit.
Alright, so let's try the rear wheels and see if they will work. The only issue I foresee is the clearance back here, which there is not a lot of. However, there's a ton of clearance over there. There's probably a ton of clearance up above as well. But inside this wheel, well, this is where I had a problem last time when I put drag wheels on the back of this car with the stock wheels, I must add. They were just a 315 35 20 instead of a 305 30 20. Now, it's a 20 inch tire, obviously 28, 10, 17. But yeah, I just don't understand that. It's, you know, it's offset a little bit. Put the lugs on and see what happens here. So before I lower this down, I want to check under here, make sure around the wheel there, which I don't think it is. The only thing I'm really worried about is the uh, brake calipers and they're very, very, very close. I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but they're extremely close. It's actually hard to even see through. Like if there's actually a gap, there's a gap there I can see. You can see through there, but it's not touching on the bottom. It's the top that worries me. They fit on there. <laughs> they look good though. What do you guys think? Let me move this jack out of the way. Yeah, there you go. There's the uh, there's the drag racing setup for the car that I told you I'd never do. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not doing this. I actually the reason I was doing it, like I said before, was to see if these actually would fit on this car new and basically report to Raystar and say, yeah, your wheels do and don't fit. So obviously we know 17s will not fit on the front. 18s will fit, I think, uh, but 17s in the back are still, God, they're like barely. I think they just need to design the wheel a little different. Just to, th those brake calipers really worry me right there. They're extremely tight. Like I'm talking like you could fit like a hair through there maybe. Everything else through the, the other side looks good though. So I would take it out for a drive, but I don't want to uh, scratch anything up. So I'm just gonna leave it sit in my driveway for now, but at least I can report to them and let them know what, what really happened here. But either way, what do you guys think? What do you think that looks like? I think it looks pretty cool. So for shits and giggles, I just leaned that tire up against there just to see what it would look like. But I mean, it's cool. Reminds me of my other car. Anyways, back to normal. All righty. Thanks for the notification, rear backup camera. That actually is quite helpful. So a failed attempt and a successful attempt, well at least a mildly successful attempt, to place the Raystar 95 Recluse wheels on my 2017 ZL1. Either way, those 95 Recluse Raystar wheels will fit on your 5th gen Camaro, even the 5th gen ZL1. They'll be fine. 17's up front and 17's in the rear. No issues there. Uh, as far as if a 6th gen ZL1, if you have one, or even a 6th gen Camaro, I don't know. They actually might fit a lot better on the rear end of an SS, maybe. And even, they might actually, the 17s might actually fit up front here. I don't know. I haven't done that much research on 2017 or 2016 SSs. So, you guys tell me in the comments if they do. Maybe you guys have one that you have 17s on. Cool. But either way, I think I'm still going to keep the stock wheels on my car uh, for now. Because they do look good. They fit the car very well. Maybe down the road, I'll replace the stock wheels with like a forged wheel, like a lighter wheel or something like that for uh, track sessions. Maybe even a, a wider setup too. Like, you know, the ZL1 Wenalees, they have the 325s in the rear. And up front, I believe they're 305s like the 5th Gen Z28. So maybe I'll get a setup or something like that for my car. But either way, thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Comment below, let me know what you think. If we have any first time viewers watching this video right now, all of my social media info will be in the description below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.